Today's video is more of a part 2 of last month's video. We're going to ride all the well-marked trails at Kinross, and we're going to see if anything has changed like we did at Lake Knobolus. And without taking any more of your time, we're going to get straight into riding. Well, it's headlock. Well, I don't know, we'll do... We're pretty much... We're only going to ride certain trails though here. And so I haven't done a triple T in like ages. It's been like a really long time. So I don't often do this trail. It's a very... Um... I don't know actually. Often I find when I ride here in days where it's extremely windy, it's really scary to ride when you're on the trails where you hit the pedal a lot, which makes you feel like the tree will fall even on you. So today's a special treat because I haven't ridden Triple T in a long time. Overall, nothing's really changed actually. Um, oh, this ski. I haven't done this in ages as well, but I can do it though. I, I have done it. Yeah. It's weird. I did a shot. <laughs> right off the bike. So I'll try again. Yeah, I'm, I'm just scared about these skis. Um, I've never been good at them. <laughs> Well, I must say, that didn't go as planned. I fell off at the start, but, you know. Whenever I ride skis that have a bad entrance, like the one I just rode, I always have a hard time getting onto them. But once I'm on, it's usually okay. But if they were built properly and by professionals, like on Mount Front in Canada, it'd be really easy to ride, because I feel that I'm decent enough with my skills with skis. Now, unfortunately, I had a crash last week where I was riding along a four-wheel drive track, and I went off a ledge type thing, and since it had been a heat two days before, the ground was extremely soft and the terrain didn't help either. But the most unfortunate part was that I wasn't filming, so that was annoying, but life goes on. <laughs> Quick little fun fact about Kinross, it used to have a heap of wooden obstacles, some of which were really high up in the trees, but sadly they didn't last long and got torn down due to people crashing on them. But now it's a bit safer, with some cool technical features still in the area. Alright, so, we have to come out here another time, as, well, I was going to film Go Track, which is the one we're doing now. Um, I was going to film it yesterday, but unfortunately the camera died, the battery ran out of the battery. <laughs> um, so, that was a bit unfortunate, so we're out here again today, for a second time. Well, a little section here. The trails that I didn't show in the video that were still well marked are trails that I haven't changed in the slightest bit. And if they haven't changed like Brown Hornet, but are still small and fast, I may decide to still include them. Here we go, this is a interesting little feature. First time I attempted it, it took me a few tries to do, then I got it. Yeah, it's okay. It's an interesting rock face. Which I didn't take the right line for. <laughs> Come on. Oh yeah. Second 
try. After riding Goat Trail for a while, I realised that nothing much had changed, except for a few features, but we'll just keep on riding and see what we can find. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So, oh, it's a rock garden here. That's real. Interesting. Oh yeah. That's the stuff. That's where we do it. Now we're doing Goat Trail inside loops, or inside a loop. Check this out, see what we have here. Woo! That was quite nasty. Woo! That was quite the tricky descent there. Now let's go. Well, we don't do big lines, big lines are the worst. Oh. oh yeah, that's a little bit of a tricky section. <laughs> Look at that way, crow! Whoa. Crows, magpies everywhere. Woo. Oh yeah. That's a nice little section. Alright, so... Ooh, it's a car there. It's a new shot. It's a new thing. But anyway... So, what we'll do here is we'll do this brown horn. We decided, I decided not to do eat roots and white thing roots because it's a trail that's out on the streets, and I guarantee that no one's actually ridden it or changed it in any way. That's for good. I knew it was all wrong. Anyway, so good. I'd like to show you a quick trail that was built on the corner of North Shore, and it seems to have been built with a bit of knowledge of trail building, but it's still very gnarly to ride. So here's the new trail I was talking about. It doesn't have a name, so and it is built by some, you know, some like the old Joe. Just saying. I guess. Um, yeah, it's kind of cool. So, because I did put some rocks to good use. For an example, this little feature here. There we go over there. It didn't work to it. Last time that little roller was there, you couldn't ride it. Because you gotta hit your chain ring. Ah! Tree. Oh, so, 
that bear is skinny. Um, that you can ride down that, but um, not today. Some trees have fallen over. No surprise there. Um, because back at home, a few days last about last week or so, last Saturday, there was a huge downpour of rain, and my dam back at home has um filled up entirely. You know, it's just now full. But, and there was, it's quite a big dam as well. Um, I might show you in the video that I'm making where I showcase my new trails. And more backyard trails, I guess. So, you can either go down there on the skinny, or you can either go down, like, or like, go just down there. Way. Like that. All right. I would like to thank you so much for made it all the way to the end of the video. I'm trying so hard to keep these videos 10 minutes or less, and that's the optimal time I'd like my videos to be. It's a bit annoying that nothing much has changed out of Kinross, but at least we got to ride a lot and remind you all to commit to everything, ride everything, and tread everything.